Women are always seen as gentle beings who care about beauty and love children, and men are often accused of violence against children. And the name serial killer is usually associated with men. Yet throughout history, a group of serial killers have appeared who killed children without mercy. There may not have been gruesome murders in the story of Minnie Dean or Minnie McCulloch full of terrifying details, as in the stories of other serial killers. There are cases that were more cruel than those for which Dean was convicted, but she became more famous than any other murderer in New Zealand because she is the first woman to be executed in New Zealand after being convicted of murder. In 1872, Minnie married a hotelier named Charles Dean, and the two lived in an area called Ital Creek and lived a normal life during which her family suffered from some financial difficulties that made her go with her husband to work in agriculture. But unfortunately, life became harder and the financial crisis that the Dean family is going through. They moved to live in an area called Winton, and there the husband worked in pig breeding, while Minnie began to earn money from receiving and caring for the children of some women who were unable to take care of their children in exchange for money. In this era, contraception was few, and some women gave birth outside marriage, which was not acceptable at the level of society, so these mothers either sent their child for adoption or looked for someone else to take care of him in exchange for money. Dean is believed to have been responsible for raising nine children at once and was paid weekly for childcare. And at this time, the number of child deaths in New Zealand was also a major problem, with an estimated 80 to 100 children per 1,000 children born in New Zealand. In that period, several children who were cared for by Dean died due to various diseases. And in March 1889, a child died due to convulsions and was then only six months old. And in October 1891, another child died of respiratory and heart diseases. And in 1894, another child died of children under her care due to drowning. And she hid his body in the garden of her house, and this raised doubts towards Dean. The coroner investigated the child's body and determined that Dean was not responsible for the death of this child or the former children because hygiene standards in healthcare institutions at the time or when children were born were causing them to become ill from birth or after birth. The doctor stated that Dean had done well to care for the children, but that her home where she hosted the children was not hygienically fit. Society began to talk about religion as untrustworthy and rumors spread that a number of children taken care of by Dean had disappeared without explanation. Police tightened surveillance by their knowledge of their attempts to obtain child life insurance policies, but failed. There have been previous cases that shook public opinion in which women killed children in their care in Australia and the United Kingdom. And of course, these crimes were linked to Dean in people's minds, but she was not convicted until 1895. This year, Dean was seen on a train carrying a small child and a small hat box but soon after, she was also seen leaving the same train, but without the child, just carrying the box. As rail porters later testified, Dean's luggage compartment was suspiciously heavy as they carried it off the train. A woman named Jane Hornsby then filed a police report claiming to have handed over her granddaughter Eva to Dean to look after her. And clothes identified as belonging to the child were found at Dean's home. When searching along the railway line, no trace of the child was found, but because of the clothes, Dean was arrested and charged with murder, and her garden was dug up, and it was revealed that there were three bodies buried in the garden, all of them children, one of which was for the poor girl Eva, and the other two for another baby girl and a three-year-old boy. The cause of death of the baby Eva was determined by strangulation. The other infant was revealed to be Dorothy Edith Carter, who was only one year old, and the coroner determined that she died from an overdose of the drug Ludanum, which was used legally to calm children at this time. And the third did not determine the cause of his death. Dean was brought to trial, and during the trial, her lawyer claimed that all of these deaths were accidental, and that Dean hid the children's bodies to avoid the negative publicity and notoriety that had spread about her in the past. Dean was on trial for four days, and during the trial days, she was New Zealand's most hated woman, with people gathered outside the trial and hats with dolls sold to infants outside the courtroom. Dean was convicted of the murder of the child Dorothy Carter and sentenced to death on June 21, 1895. 
and in her imprisonment between June and August, Dean wrote a letter in which she said that she had taken care of 28 children, and of these children, the police found five children in good health when they broke into Dean's institution. Six children died while caring for them, and their bodies were found in the garden during the two times, and one family recovered the body of their child, including Margaret Cameron and Esther Wallace, who were adopted by Dean herself. So there were 14 children taken care of by Dean missing, and it was never known what happened to them, but she claimed to have sent seven children for adoption secretly. However, because of the widespread image of Dean at the time of the trial, people and police were certain that they had been killed, and the police never investigated the possibility that these children had died of the disease. Dean was executed on August 12, 1895 at the age of 50, when she received the title of the first woman to be executed, and since the death penalty was abolished in New Zealand after that, Minnie Dean became the only woman to receive that punishment, and she was buried in Winton and buried next to her husband, who died several years later in a house fire. Dean's tomb has remained a Winton landmark and has become a legend and part of New Zealand folklore, where her name has been used as a tool to scare young children from mothers, such as saying, you have to do good behavior or I'll send you to Minnie Dean Farm.